Hello all, and welcome back to the YouTube channel of All Day Chess. Today we're going back to the Mr. Beast vs. GM Hikaru. This is going to be the fifth and final video of this series, where we're going to cover games 9 and 10. I really hope you guys like this content, so be sure to subscribe, like, and turn on post notifications. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. If you guys remember a while back, I told you that in games 9 and 10, Mr. Beast does not lose against the Grandmaster. But just look at this position. GM Hikaru only has a queen, a rook, and four pawns compared to what all Mr. Beast has. So if this game was played between two similar level players, then this would be an easy win for white. But since Mr. Beast is going up a grandmaster, it's a little bit different. So, watch this. Mr. Beast starts out with d4, and then we have a5, a4, d5, knight c3, king f8. And these moves might seem very weird, but because Hikaru's down so much material, he's trying to find something that he can do. Now, e4, d takes e4, knight takes e4, king g8, c3, solid, trying to protect his d4 pawn, and then queen e7, f3, f5, and now this knight is pinned, so the knight can't move because then the queen is checking the king. So now later on, black can simply capture this knight with a pawn. And then there's bishop d3, king h4, small check, and then g3 and back queen e7. Now b4, Mr. Beast is trying to trade it off stuff, but generally when you're down, when you're up material, sorry, you want to trade pieces, not pawns. But since Mr. Beast is up so much material, he can afford to do this. A takes b4, c takes b4, and king h7. Here, Mr. Beast, uh, here, Jim Hikaru didn't play queen takes b4, but instead he played king h7, and then g4, and then rook to d8, attacking the d4 pawn, and then queen e2, and now queen takes b4 check, bishop d2, and now queen takes d4. So now some of the pawns are going off the board, but now this knight isn't pinned anymore, and the knight can go anywhere, like knight g5 check or somewhere. But then we have g takes f5. Uh oh. No, no, come on, Mr. Beast. Queen takes a1. That's sad. There's a rook off the board. But it's okay. He's still winning by a lot. Because now king f2, queen d4 check, bishop e3, and queen takes a4. Okay, he's still doing fine because let's say count pawn for pawn, rook for rook, and queen for queen. So the remainder stuff is a knight, two bishops, two pawns. No, two knights, two bishops, and two pawns. So... Mr. Beast should win, right? Now f6, g takes f6, knight takes f6, nice move. And now king h8, and knight h3. Knight h3 is a little bit dubious of a move. Instead, maybe he could have brought out his pieces somewhere or tried to deliver some checkmate idea. But now queen h4 check, and this is exactly the problem. This knight on h3 drops. King f1, queen takes h3. Queen g2, queen takes g2. Okay, so GM Hikaru decides to trade queens here. Because he's getting the material bounce closer to even, he decides after queen takes g2, king takes g2, and rook takes d3, he might be able to do something. But now rook e1, king g7, knight to e4, rook a3, h4, king g6, f4, king f5, knight g3 check, these moves are just, like, black is trying to bring his king in closer, and white is just trying to hold off black's king and try and promote his own pawns. And now king g4, h5. Okay, so now this pawn wants to run a little bit. And now rook a2 check. And the king can't come anywhere because of this knight's blocking. And on these two squares, the king is guarding them. So now the king has to drop back. But he does have his rook here. And Mr. Beast plays a very nice move. Rook to e2, trying to trade off pieces. Of course, GM Hikaru does not want to do that, so he plays rook to a6. Then f5, rook c6, h6, rook c7, f6. So now look at these pawns go. They're both wanting to march down and become queens. Rook to f7, bishop to d4, protecting this pawn. And then king to g5, rook to e7. This is a really nice move, trying to trade off the rooks again. And now rook to f8, knight to f4 check. King takes h6, f7, king g6, knight to d6, protecting this f7 pawn. And now rook to d8, rook e6 check, 
king h7, rook e8, a wonderful move trying to trade off pieces, but now rook takes d6. And after Mr. Uh, Mr. Beast queens with f8 equals queen, there's rook takes d4. So now white should be completely winning. He's up a queen. And we know how to do the king and queen checkmate and the queen and rook checkmate and all that, right? So let's see what happens. Rook e7 check. King g6, rook e6 check. Okay, this is not the method, but we'll see. King g5, queen f6, very nice. Now this rook is also gone because of the double attack. And then king to h5, queen takes d4, but you gotta watch out. Look, this queen takes care of this, this rook takes care of this. So if the king didn't have this square, then that would be stalemate. So king g5, queen to e5 check. Okay, king g4, queen d4, king h5, rook e5, king h6, queen f5. Okay, this is not very good, but we'll see. King g7, rook e6. Okay, there we go. Now we're trying to gain the files. King h8, and... No! Queen g6? This is stalemate now. Even if this rook wasn't here, if it was off the board somewhere, this would be stalemate because the queen is guarding every single square. But no, we have to play something else. I think he was thinking of either queen g6 or queen f7, but they would both be stalemate. So you have to be a little bit careful. Maybe we can play something like rook here. Just a waiting move. And as soon as the king moves here, we can go check and mate. Okay, so unfortunate. Unfortunate game nine for Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. But let's get into game number 10. So, it's the final game. Mr. Beast has got to come out clutch. You know, just for us viewers, he's got to make it interesting. Something should happen. And this game was quite interesting. Jim Hikaru doesn't even have his rook now. It's king, queen, and three pawns versus the whole army. Just think about that. What will happen? Let's find out. D4, A6, Knight C3, King F8, A5... A4, A5, E4, D6, E5, D takes E5, D takes E5. Trying to get the queens traded off somehow. Queen H4, G3, Queen H7, Rook B1, King G7. I'm not really explaining these moves very much because nothing's going on yet. The king is moving somewhere. White trying out wants to try and get his pieces and try and do something. B4, trying to trade off pawns. Queen f5, b takes a5, queen takes e5, check, but it's fine. Oh no, this is not good. Queen e2 is not good. We could have played knight e2, we could have played bishop e2, we could have brought this back to knight e2. Any of those. But like, oh wait, no, sorry, even bishop here is pretty bad because of check. So we need to play knight here or something like that. But queen e2 just blunders this knight. Queen takes e3, check. But it's fine. Mr. Beast is still doing fine. Don't worry. Now, queen d2, queen c6, bishop b2, check, king h7, bishop d3, nice, getting everyone in the party. f5, bishop takes f5, king g8, queen d8, check, king f7, beautiful idea by Mr. Beast. I'm not sure if he spotted this line, but some good calculation. Queen d7, wonderful move. What's so wonderful about this is that he gets the queen traded off. So now look at this advantage. It's king versus king. But white also has an extra three points, six points, because these two combine to six, and then nine points, and then 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, plus the two rooks, which are 10. He's up 25 points. What could go wrong? Foreshad foreshadowing, hint, hint. King g6, rook d1, king f7. Bishop c6, king e6, rook d6, check, wait a minute, what? Okay, king f5, bishop d4, king g5, knight f3, king g4, king e2, okay, so now black has just traveled his king all the way down here, and maybe some stalemating idea, but when you're up 25 points, no way, king h3, bishop b7, check, King g2, knight h4, check, king takes h1, oh no, there goes our rook, bishop e5, king takes h2, and let's get, let's get this checkmate going, oh no, oh no, what did he do, 
when you're up this much material and this is a stalemate, like, come on. I, I mean, I have to sort of admire the beauty of the stalemate. It's pretty cool, but come on, Mr. Beast. You were up so much. Ah. Oh. Well, guys, with that unfortunate ending, we end this week's episode. I hope you guys like it. Be sure to subscribe, like the videos, and make sure to comment down below on what you'd like next. That's all for me now. See you soon.